Okay, today we're going to be making cheesecake. I am going to make two of this size, and these are the ingredients I will be using. 14 ounces of sugar, a couple of tablespoons of sour cream, 10 eggs, 6 packages of Philadelphia cream cheese, and a quart of heavy cream. First we put the cream cheese and the sugar in the mixer and we turn it very slowly at first. Turn up the speed as needed. Make sure it stays in the bowl. It may need some help to stay down. Forgive my videography, I guess I wasn't meant to be a cameraman. After we let it mix for about 10 minutes on medium speed, we turn it back down to a low speed and add the eggs slowly. I forgot to mention, I have already added two tablespoons of sour cream. I did that while it was mixing. After the eggs have been integrated into the mix for a few seconds, we turn up the speed a little bit. After it mixes for a few minutes, we stop it, we raise the mixer, and now we have to scrape the bottom of the bowl because there's always some residual cream cheese left in the bottom, so we have to scrape it off. And you scrape it off with something like this, like a spatula or something. I'm gonna put the phone down so I can do that. After we finish the scraping, we put the mixer back down and turn it on on low speed. Then we can raise it up just one more notch. And let it mix for a few minutes. After a few minutes, we put it back down on low. And we add the whipped cream. I mean the whipping cream, heavy whipping cream. One quart for the two cheesecakes. Add very slowly.
we let it mix on low for a few more minutes. You grease the two pans that you're going to use. You grease them well. I use Pam. You can use anything you want as long as they're greased. And then we put the mix in. And you put the mix in the pan. This is what they're gonna look like when you finish pouring it into the pan. And now they're ready to go in the oven. I have preheated the oven at 350 degrees. And you put the cheesecakes inside a cookie sheet and fill, it up, fill up the, uh, the cookie sheet with water, surround the entire pan with water. This will prevent it from rising and spilling all over the place. Close the oven, let them, let them bake. It's gonna take approximately an hour to an hour and 15 minutes for the one on the top, and the one on the bottom, anywhere between hour and a half to an hour and 45 minutes. I will let you know when they come out. This is what they're gonna look like when they're in the oven after they almost done. The one, the top one I already took out, this is the bottom one. I'm gonna take this out in about 10 minutes. But this is what they're gonna look like. After you take them out and leave them outside, they're gonna settle. After you take them outside, and after they settle, after a little while, 10, 15 minutes, they're gonna go down and they're gonna look like this. This is what the cheesecakes are going to look when you take them out. The one on the right was the one on the bottom. I just took it out. It still hasn't settled yet. The one on the left was on the top. I took it out first. It has already settled. I was wrong about the time. The one on the top took an hour and a half and the one on the right took two hours. Sometimes it depends on the oven. It's always good to keep an eye on them. Some caution when you uh, when you're taking these out of the oven, they are very very hot, so be very careful because you have to deal with the pan with the cheesecake and also with the pan with the water. So you have to be extremely careful. Grab it well. Do not let it drop. If you drop it, it's going to look like you spilled milk because the cheesecake hasn't settled yet. These have to be left outside until they cool off and then refrigerate them overnight before you use them the next day. When I take them out of the pan, sometime tomorrow, I will show you a technique how to take them out. So that's it. That's how you make a cheesecake. This is the famous New York style cheesecake. I hope you enjoy making it. All right, now I'm going to show you how to take the cheesecake out of the pan. Not as simple as it sounds. You take a big bowl or a pan and you put water inside as hot as possible. 
you put the cheesecake in and you let it stay for for a couple of minutes After a couple of minutes, we take out the cheesecake, put it on the towel so it won't make a mess, shake it a little bit to separate it from the, uh, from the pan. Then you take a cake circle, put it on top, and turn it around. Voila! Of course now we have to turn it the other side. So we take another cake circle and we put that on top and then turn it around. And that's how you take the cheesecake out of the pan. Enjoy!